This video is sponsored by iDesign, and today I am helping another family tackle their pantry. She has tried over and over again to get her pantry organized. She tried using baskets and sub containers, but it just was not working out for her and the family. I've assessed the issue and tackled it, and her pantry went from this to this using iDesign and the Home Edit storage containers. I always like to address the main issues with pantries. One of course is storage and the other is those wire shelving racks that so many of us have. Well, there's a solution and you don't even have to remove your wire shelving. I'm going to share how you can not only get your pantry organized, but I'm also going to share how you can make covers for your wire shelving. Measure the length and the depth of the shelf all the way to the wall mounted U channel. Remove the wire shelving and gave the pantry a fresh coat of paint. And at your local hardware store, they have weathered born wood panels that resembles real wood. I took the wire shelving to the hardware store so they can cut the wall panel to fit the size of the wire shelf. And by the way, this sheet was only 20 bucks and I got six shelves out of one sheet. I had one by two cut the length of the panel to cover the wire shelving and I used finishing nails to attach them together to make it look like one solid shelf. It took me less than a half hour to put these covers together. I then used a wood stain to match the panels, but you can certainly go darker or you can leave it as is. You guys have seen me use this indoor outdoor motion activated ceiling light that's perfect for dark closets. It's battery operated and it's very easy to install and as you can see it's super bright. Now I'm getting ready to install the covers over the wire shelving. It fits like a glove and the great thing about using these cover panels is that you don't have the issue of items falling between the wire shelving. I'm using a variety of iDesign and the home edit bins and I'm loving the narrow pantry bin. It's perfect for snacks and smaller items and the divided fridge drawer is just my favorite to use in the pantry as well. And I'm also using the three tier expandable shelf for canned goods. This is a total must have in a pantry too. If you're planning to do your pantry, be sure to purge and get rid of those expired foods and then placing your containers inside the pantry before putting your items into the bins. I find that much easier that way. This way the homeowner can place their items accordingly. I just want to give you a recap of the before. Everything was everywhere. She did mention she was overbuying and she couldn't see what she had. And here's the after. Starting from the top, her biggest and most used items are on the top shelf, the dry goods. I'm using the iDesign and the Home Edit pasta canisters. They can fit up to two boxes of any pasta, and I'm using the iDesign and the Home Edit cereal canisters. It has an airtight seal, flip up pour spout for easy pouring, cereal, and big bags of sugar. Her canned goods are on the three expandable shelf. It's great for easy viewing and it's also great to just grab and go. Below is her bread and bagel keeper and more bins for dinners. Everything is visible and is organized by liked items. I'm using the divided fridge drawer to store her grandchildren's snacks. It's always a good idea to take the contents out of the box and store them into the bins for easy access. And getting rid of the box saves you so much space in your pantry. If you find that your bins are moving when you use them, try using mounting or museum putty. It's removable adhesive for lightweight mounting. I place them on the corner of the bins to keep the bins from moving when they use it. Turntables are a must have for pantries and fridges. For easy viewing, just spin. The homeowner had these adorable bins that were scattered all over the pantry, and I've used them to corral her soft drinks and her water and just place them on the floor for safety. I hope you will stay tuned so I can share her laundry room makeover. Again, there goes that wire shelving. I'm going to give this laundry room a full makeover, you guys. It's going to be a good one. So please stay tuned for that. So let me know your thoughts on wire shelving and if you'll try that shelving cover that I did and your thoughts about it. I love to know and I want to thank you all for watching.